Well, y'all wanted a cloning video. I didn't know what you meant. I thought you meant cloning humans. Somebody told me that they could clone humans, so I thought I'd try it on myself. And all it's done is get foggy. <laughs> Welcome to the Ross Realist channel on all of YouTube, baby. The people's channel, Green Magic Gardening. Let's get right into it. Welcome back, my fine, fine folks of YouTube. So, this is gonna be how to clone quick time right now i'm gonna do it a little bit different you might laugh you might get a kick out of this it might annoy you i don't know guys but i'm gonna do it this way to try to get this video pushed out i have never gotten so many of the same question like when are you gonna show us the cloning video when are you gonna do a cloning video well i'm gonna do two of them so this one is for you I have collected everything that we need to clone. Now you're gonna need a cup of water. I just use normal tap water, I guess it don't matter. Probably better if you just keep it pH at 6.5, but I've never had a problem. You can uh, use three different mediums, I guess you can call it. Rockwell cubes, I'd get the cubes, they're probably better instead of the round ones, but they work. Or you can use your soil, whatever medium you're using, just like this. Or the best of all, which I think probably the best of all is rapid rooters, guys. Just type them in um, Amazon or whatever. It's just called rapid rooters, and they work really great too. So, but if you want to do it the cheap way that costs you really like nothing, bang, this is the way. Now, guys, first of all, you want to make sure the plant is really watered. They drink by osmotic pressure, it's called. If they get an air bubble in their stem, it is going to kill the plant. It's going to kill the clone, guys. It's like uh, an aneurysm to a human. Like, same thing. We get air in our, in our um, bloodstream. Same thing. Same thing with these girls. Now, this is not to clone any certain plants, you know. This is just whatever plants you choose to use this for, guys. Now, this is for all ages. Cloning plants is a skill set that everybody should have. Now get yourself either cloning powder, rooting powder, or rooting gel. And a water bottle. Get a water bottle. That has to have, well, I go with the pH water in this one because I'm going to be spraying it right into the medium. So that's pH at 6.5. You want to start off with a healthy plant if you don't start off with a healthy plant the only reason you shouldn't be you should be sacrificing that is if that plant is not going to get healthy and you're trying to save the genetics and it's the only way then you could take a clone off an unhealthy plant then it would be acceptable but if not get your plant in tip-top shape before you take the clone guys people like to say there's a better like you know some spots are better but uh, if you cut it at the top you're going to get a nice clone, right? But um, most people don't want to do that. So what I do is I come down to the bottom and these branches usually are going to be ones that I end up taking off, right? So I'd either take that or one of these side ones. It doesn't really matter. Now I just go ahead and snip it. Now, this is all the tips and everything I know about cloning and I've never had an issue, guys. My first time ever trying cloning was a success. Now you're going to bang, right? Into the water into the water it goes now you get your cloning powder now you make sure your mediums are wet whatever you're putting it in and you don't want it dripping out though you just want it moist to where if you squeeze it it's not dripping everywhere guys that's about perfect oh. You got your clone, right? You get your clone. Now you're gonna cut on a 45 degree angle, which is like that, right? Crooked, just on the side. Now, the reason being, this is kind of a 45 degree angle right there. Well, I'll show you, you'll cut it. Nice and quick, clean cut. And if you mess up like that, you can do it again. So make sure, you know, keep that in mind. Save yourself from room if you do mess up. This ain't gonna work the best, right? But there you see it, there it worked actually. 45 degree angle. Now, if you mess that up, you can actually just put it in, you can keep it straight. The only reason you're cutting it on a 45 degree angle is it makes more surface area, guys. To a 45 degree angle is more surface area than just straight across. Now, some people like to soften up the, uh, the stem like that, give a little scrape. I don't do that really, but you can now 
After you do that, you get your cut, you dip it in your water. And I go into my, I'll cover it like that. I'll knock it off. I'll cover it all again. Knock it off. I'll cover it all again. Gently oh, knock it off. And then right into your medium, guys. Boom. Boom. But before that or after, right, you want to clear all the leaves off too, all the way up to just the two top ones and two sides. I, or most people just use, leave one set across, but you can leave two. And then you're going to cut the tips. Just cut the tips off the leaves. And again, that's not, you don't have to do that if you miss that spot. I'll show you guys on the other one, but if you miss cutting the leaves, it'll still work. All you're doing is trying to redirect energy down to rooting faster, right? Now what you want, guys, is a heating pad. It's not a must either, but it will speed it up, right? It will speed the process up. Doing this method, you'll get roots within five to seven days. You get your dome, you put, you get it in your tent, which I'll show you guys in a second. You get your heating mat down and you get your dome over them. Always try to keep it around that. You see that? So it's not dripping out. If it's drenched, guys, the roots are not going to want to break out. They like feed from within and it's going to take forever, forever for you to get roots breaking out. And you're just going to get, and your clone's going to start looking all scraggly and nasty. You know, you see people's clones all brown out. That's because they're not getting the um moisture perfect you want it to be perfect you need to all to let it dry out that's where i have messed up and it took forever for them to clone and they look like crap but they will come back around now mess around with that the dryness and stuff and that's where it's going to be hard you want to mess around with that and get the perfect you'll figure it out right with time now when i start off i put it into the tent and i close the vents all the way except for that and then over time i slowly Every day I'll just open it up a little bit more. So you want this all in the tent under. Now you put the uh, heating pad down. This is on top of the heating pad. That's over. Now you spray the crap out of everything, guys. Just for humidity. Right? Spray the plant all down. Boom. Cover it up. Light goes on like 20%, very low. 18 hours on, 6 hours off. Your normal schedule keep checking on them once a day i do and make sure that moisture level is good and you will have roots it should look like that guys you got the heating pad under i got the light 20 percent, and boom that video is to come in like a week or so but that's the whole gist of it guys if you follow that this is actually a really good little guide for cloning now your benefits to clones guys you get to save the genetics they're going to be the same as the plant you take it off of and you want to grow a plant over three times before it acclimates to its environment. You know, you, you get the clone. Now you take a clone off of that. Do it again. Do it again. Three times over, you grow that out. And that will be the best version. It will show its true traits, guys. Cloning is a wicked method for perpetual growing. They grow way faster. You're going to cut your veg time down. Really good for perpetual growing, guys. And yeah, this has actually been a really good video. I think this is a really good little guide. And if you follow this to the T, you will have. And you guys are amazing. Now, keep in mind, channel memberships are on. If you would like to support the channel further, you do. You can. Um, code Green Magic. If you're buying anything Spider Farmer, they are my sponsor. And the best nutrients on the planet. Code Green Magic. Everything will be in the first pinned comment. I love you guys. Signing off.